Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Craft Canvas Culture coming at you with another review, and I know you guys have been waiting for this to hear my thoughts and opinions on this. I am finally reviewing the THCA disposable by Binoid. This is their Sour Pebbles Live Rosin THCA Half Gram Disposable. I also have a card that I'll do in another video. I'll probably be doing a first impression short tonight on that. Then I'll be doing a video on it tomorrow. And then the day after tomorrow, Sunday, New Year, we're gonna jump into the new year with another THCA video. So for the next three days, or four days or so, you're gonna see THCA videos. Sorry this video is coming up so late. I've had a crazy day in front of me. I'm just now getting time to film, uh, just now time to be in the shop and everything, but I wanna to talk to you about this. The THCA disposal, this is the Sour Pebbles. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get a hit for y'all, pop up the COAs to show you guys what's in here, and yeah, cheers y'all. Now, as you guys know, these are half gram disposables. Uh, they don't have a charging port on them, so when it's done, it's done. Uh, I've had this since last night, as you guys saw in my shorts, and um, I've already finished it. Now, that's because I'm a psychopath. I chuck through these things like it's no tomorrow. So that's me aside. I can go through the stuff, any of the stuff very quickly. But there is some issues I have with this product. So. One thing is I would like a charging port on this because I feel like even now, like as it's at the bottom, there's still a little bit left in here where I would be willing to hit it out of, but I feel like it's getting weaker and weaker with the pools. Um, another thing is I don't taste rosin in here. There's no live rosin in here in my opinion. Like it tastes like distillate and like, like rosin's not that clear y'all. Rosin does not look that clear, but the big, big, big underlying question that we all have is, hey, how did they get THCA into a vape, right? Because THCA is a pre-decarboxylated uh, THC molecule, which means that, you know, in a pure crystalline, like in a pure state, THCA is crystalline. It is literally a solid crystal, right? But it, this state it's liquefied well how do you liquefy thca you have to melt it you have to heat it up using like heat you know what i mean and to say that they're using live rosin implies that they only use pressure to extract this from the plant and heat so you have to use heat and pressure to extract live rosin and because of that that's where i'm kind of drawing my confusion i would love for binoid to answer this and i do have a discount code with binoid if you guys want to try these out because i do have some upsides to this product right so there's actually some things like good about this product i want to talk about um so i do have a discount code with binoid if you guys want to use it it's code ccc just drop it at checkout i think it's 10 percent off um but you know binoid does make a lot of awesome products they're usually one of the first brands to actually come out with new cannabinoids and new products on the market i remember back when i was really really small when i reviewed their hhco they were the first company to come out with that from what i remember they're like the first company i saw with um THCH, THCJD, THCP, all those other new cannabinoids, they've been kind of in the, the forefront of that. Now, I don't review them much on the channel because they're not that popular out here in the East Coast. They're more of a West Coast hemp brand. Um, that being said, this, in my opinion, is the closest thing to Delta 9 THC distillate. That is like the best way I can describe it. Like if you go to the dispensary and spent $20 on a distillate cart, uh, like just a, a cheap distillate cart, that's what this reminds me of. Um, the terpenes are nice in this, like the flavor is nice on it. It has a good pull onto it, especially when it was new. The taste is like a little bit of that fruitiness, a little bit of the, the sourness and then some sweet like vanilla notes. It's nice, it's pleasant, it's not harsh. Like, I saw some other YouTubers coughing a lot when hitting this. I didn't cough really anything. Is it like THCO? No, there's a little bit of a, a sensation going down the throat, but it's nothing out of the ordinary crazy, nothing super harsh. It's still smoother than Delta 8. Um, but the high is like a Delta 9 distillate, like a cheap dis distillate, which is not a bad thing because for the hemp market, all these different cannabinoids produce different highs. And this has been, in my opinion, the closest to real high. Okay, you're going to have to bear with me. Closest to real high from a vape, I have felt. The high is a very body high. It's very reminiscent of like a cheap Delta 9 THC distillate card. Like, I really don't know how else to describe it. I remember, um, I 
think they're called like Faith Light or something back out in Arizona was a brand I tried once and that's what it kind of reminds me of like this just it doesn't taste awful and it doesn't taste bad but for $33 because I bought this with my own money mind you I paid for this with my own money on my pocket I didn't get sent this so I'm gonna talk to how I want to talk to her about it right um like for $33 for me I think it was after my discount this was it's not worth it this, I went through $33 in a day like not even a day because I got this like last night at like 11 p.m. Eastern time and I have basically finished this and I did that at like 6 p.m. so I think the carts are the better deal there but I haven't tried the carts yet that being said um, I think it's a good product I just I want to know how they make it work because I just don't see a scientific way for that to work to make THCA into a vape without decarbing. If I could be explained that and then shown a full panel testing on this, I would be absolutely exhilarated to say, hey, this is awesome. Let's go after this. And this is the way the market should turn. But who knows, right? There'll probably be more and more stuff coming out about this in the future. There'll probably be other companies coming out with this soon anyways. Um, so stay tuned for that, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this style of video where I actually reviewed, I try it beforehand. I come up with thoughts to talk to you about it. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you've stayed this far in this video, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share it with a friend, tell everybody about the channel because we're growing at a rapid rate and we want to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2023, y'all. So thank you guys so much. I hope you have a fantastic rest of y'all's day and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.